Hey digital artists, in this video I am going to demonstrate for you the steps and directions for the Shepherd Fairy inspired portrait. So this project is inspired by Shepherd Fairy, an American contemporary street artist. He's a graphic designer, he's an activist, and an illustrator. He was the founder of Obey Clothing, so he emerged from the skateboarding scene. He is known for his distinct style of posterized images, meaning the picture is made of a few simple tones and shapes with distinct changes from one tone and shape to the next. His artwork looks like this, and he's really famous for these portraits that usually have bold text on them and a simple color scheme like these portraits of former President Barack Obama or of Kobe Bryant. So he usually uses a famous celebrity in his artwork, and he even did a portrait of Keith Haring, another artist. So his artwork usually looks like this. We have a picture of Ice T. You might know him from Law and Order SVU or Bob Marley or another artist. Best we are. All right, step number one is to find your reference image. Now, I have some pictures down here that are already kind of broken up into that style. I'm going to show you how we can get our own reference image now. So, on Google Image Search, you are going to find a celebrity or a person that is interesting to you so that we can edit their photo into a posterized style. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the photo I want, alternate click or right click, save image as and on your Chromebook, it probably will save to your downloads folder. I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to look back at the directions and I'm going to go to the link Adobe Photoshop Express. It's adobe.photoshop.com. This is where I'm going to upload my picture. So I'm going to upload the file. And it's usually going to be in my downloads folder, so I'm going to open it up. And then I can start to edit it. I'm going to remove the background. Then I'm going to adjust the image into black and white. By putting the photograph in black and white, it's going to be easier to make the posterized effect. So I'm going to make it into black and white. Then I'll come to Artifacts, scroll down, click Effects, scroll down, and click Posterize. Now this doesn't look very posterized. I'm going to click and drag to about 90. So you can see as I bring it up, if I bring it all the way to a 100, it puts it into two colors. It puts it into black and white but we want to have some levels of gray in our picture so that we can have more details. So I'm going to choose 90% because now I have blacks, grays, and a lighter gray. I'm going to click apply and then download my picture. Once I download my picture, I can go back into my Google Drawing. And I can go Insert, Image, Upload from Computer, and I can grab that photo I just downloaded and open it up. So now here's my artwork for this project. I'm going to use Billie Eilish.
if I want, I can make my artwork larger. If I need to stretch it out without messing it up, I'm going to press shift and click to resize it. And I can make the box fit here. Also, if I want to make it a little bit easier on myself, I can bring up the crop. So I'm focusing on just the face. So now this is where we are going to start tracing the shape so that we can make our own picture. What I'm going to do is zoom out a little bit and I'm going to move her to the side so I can trace my shapes and then put them into my picture. Use polyline. So when I use polyline, I click, move the mouse, click, move the mouse, click, click, and I just keep going around my shape. So I'll make an entire silhouette of black because I noticed that the hair and most of the shape is black. So I'm going to move this into my picture. I'm going to make the color black. I'll go back to the polyline tool and now I'm going to try and trace some of these lighter shapes, these light gray shapes. So I'm going to zoom in with the zoom tool and I'm not going to try and get all of these details. I want to focus on the big shape of the details. So I'm actually going to zoom out a little bit so that I can see more of it. So for this shape of the hair, I'm going to focus on going in a zigzag motion because I noticed that it kind of has that zigzag shape to it. And I don't have to trace all of the dark gray tones all at the same time. I'm going to just focus on the hair shape first. And if I need to scroll, I can scroll and then bring my line back to the beginning. Where is the, that point where I started my zigzag? Right there. Now, right now it's black. I don't want it to be black. I'm going to change the fill color to a medium gray. I'll zoom out and I'll put it right about there. If I think I need to move it over. Then I'll go back to polyline. I can zoom in and I can start to trace around the inside of the face. So I'm going to use polyline, zoom in.
I know there are a lot of other details here, like her hair on this side. So maybe I can put that in on this shape too. All right, next shape. I'm gonna leave it there for now. And then I can move them all over at the same time. Oops. And let's zoom out again. All right, these are looking good. I'm gonna press shift. Make sure I'm on the select tool and click, click. And then I can move these over all at the same time into my picture. And I can change the color of them all at the same time to that medium gray. And it's starting to look more like Billie Eilish. OMG. It's looking really good. Okay, I'm going to click Polyline Tool. And now I'm going to trace these lighter shapes inside the eye. And I will go back in and do these like darker shapes in the eyebrow. And I've totally skipped this whole other eye. So, I'm going to start by the neck. another shape oops double clicked oops I double clicked again Let's make sure I'm using the zoom tool to zoom in. Zoom in. Start at the top of the head. Move the mouse and click. Alright, so now I have this new shape for the face. 
but you're going to notice something. It's covering the eye. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to reset my zoom, fit it to the screen, and I'm going to make it the color I want it to be. I'm going to press shift and click, oops, wrong tool, make it the color I want it to be, shift and click, bring it over into the picture, and use control down arrow key to get it behind the eye and the eyebrow. So control down arrow key, and that looks pretty good to me. We're getting there, and now I need to go back in and add this little black shape for the eyebrow and the eye. So click over to polyline tool again. Zoom in 200%. Make sure I'm on polyline. All right, I got those black little details. I'm gonna fit it to my screen. I'm gonna press shift on my keyboard, make sure I'm on select tool and click, 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 click all those pieces, move them over. Make sure that they are the right color. So these are very, very dark. Those are like black little details and here is my Billie Eilish portrait, and now, you know, I do notice that there's this one little tiny speck over there, kind of adds a little detail to the nose. I want to add that because I'm starting to think the side of her face looks very, very flat. Nope. And her lip could use a highlight too. So I'm going to add those things. I want to make sure I'm zoomed in. The zoom tool. On polyline. And there's even a highlight on top of her lip. Even lighter. And... This little shadow under her nose and there's a little highlight here and even a little highlight here so then I can use the mouse press shift and click 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 make these no border, definitely a lighter value, zoom out, and I can use the arrow keys to move them over, And this one needs to be a darker gray. There we go. So here's my Billie Eilish portrait. Now if I want to play with some fun colors, maybe I want to think about the value of my picture first though. So maybe I want to use, you know, different colors.
That way when I zoom in, it looks like that. All right. So here were the steps that we did. We inserted our reference image. We resized our reference image to fill up the board. We moved our reference image to the right side. We can add a background color now too, that now that we're done. Let's pick a fun color. This pastel blue. We use the polyline tool to trace all of our picture and all of our different shapes. I turned the border color to transparent. I chose unique fill colors for my picture. And it's time to add some bold text and then sign our name. So I'm going to use insert word art, type the word Billy, change the font, the color of the font, Decide where I want to put it into my design. Mm. So I can play with the text where what I want to do with it. So I put her name behind her. So put the name somewhere. And then you're going to sign your name with word art too. Oh, I made a typo. Change your font. Make your name small. I'm going to make the color something that might blend in a little bit more with the corner. And now I'm done with my artwork. After you sign your name and add some bold text, you can write your artist statement using the Google Doc or you can add the artwork to your digital art portfolio by downloading the picture using file, download, JPEG, and adding that picture to your Google Slides.